Hello everyone, I just picked up this traditional ranch style home to flip. The kitchen is so teeny and the backyard is like a jungle. I'm going to show you around and talk about my scope of work, but I haven't really decided how to expand the kitchen or what to do with the backyard yet. So make sure you watch until the very end of the video and drop me a comment below to let me know if you have any ideas. As usual, let's start out front. As you pull over to the house, the first thing you notice is probably the tall weeds that are in the parkway. So we definitely need to remove it all and put in some mulch. The front yard slopes down and there's overgrown bushes and juniper that makes it hard to see the house from the street level. So we're going to remove the overgrown bushes and trim down the juniper. But if dead branches start to show, we're going to have to remove it all. As we move closer to the house, you see more weeds that are about four feet tall. So we definitely have to take care of it and we'll likely put in some small plants and mulch to make the front yard more welcoming. And on the other side of the house, there is a large palm tree that's really nice, but many of the branches are touching the roof, which makes it hard to maintain the house. So we're going to trim a lot of the branches and see how it's going to look. On the house exterior, we have horizontal siding near the ridge of the roof, vertical siding on the lower, and some bricks in the middle. So if we use different paint colors on different sections, we could create a quite interesting look. The roof is in decent shape and most of the windows are actually newer, so we can save a lot of money without having to replace it all. This front door, on the other hand, has ornate panels on it and it's quite old, so we're going to replace this one. Now let me show you the interior. The living room doesn't feel that bright right now because of the dark curtains, but there are actually windows on both sides, which is really nice. We're still going to put in a lot of recessed lights in the ceiling, so it's always lit in here. And there's some tiles in the entryway and dark blue carpet that's heavily stained. We're going to gut it all and replace it with new vinyl flooring. You notice that there's some stuff left behind, a mattress here, a shelf there, and some other things because the seller moved out in just a few days and she didn't want to take everything with her. So my contractor will go through everything and donate and recycle anything that's useful. The kitchen is right next to the living room and it feels like a dungeon right now because it's so small and it's quite dark. The cabinets here look old and they are most likely original. The tile countertops are broken in many places. This oven is super old and the door is falling off. The flooring looks very busy and it makes the space feel more cramped. So we'll likely have to gut everything, but that's the easy part. The challenging part is to expand the space to make this kitchen bigger. So an idea I have is to expand this kitchen into the current dining room. So this dining room is right next to the kitchen and then we have an oversized family room connected as well. So we could put more cabinets along this wall and make this entire space a new, much bigger kitchen. And then we relocate the dining room into the family room, which isn't a big deal. Because this house has um, a lot of living space with the living room and the family room, so a much bigger kitchen would be very appealing to the buyers. Before we continue, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video so far and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get to see more interesting before and after videos like this. 
I wrote a book called Flipping Houses Quick Start Guide. It's a comprehensive guide for house flipping beginners. So grab your copy on Amazon today if you're interested. A separate family room is an amazing feature in a small home like this. But right now the family room looks kind of dull. We are going to have to spruce up this large fireplace and remove the traditional curtains that are blocking off natural light. This slider is old and has to be replaced as well. And the dark blue carpet is very filthy and will be replaced with new vinyl floors. After we replace everything in here, it's going to be very family friendly. The guest bathroom has this nook where the vanity is tucked into. And behind this wall is actually the shower of the primary bath, which is teeny right now. So we plan to move this wall up and give the space to the shower to make it larger. The mirror and the vanity are very old looking and the vanity drawers are broken and the doors are not aligned. So we definitely need to replace everything here. There's a small door to a closet here that's actually the hallway closet. So it's actually a very weird feature. So we're going to remove it and patch the wall. The shower enclosure is a one piece, which is very old school. So we're going to replace it with new tiles. And that must be the tiniest window I've ever seen. We may have to make a bigger opening per code requirement. In this first bedroom, the window was leaking and the seller was trying to repair it but didn't quite complete the work. So we're going to have to take it over. We're also going to install a new ceiling light, repaint the walls, install new baseboards, and replace the flooring. This second bedroom is of a decent size. We can keep this window and the mirrored closet door, but there are some stickers on the wall and the paint job was done poorly. So we're going to have to fix that. We're also going to install a new light fixture and replace the flooring. The primary bedroom is actually quite big. The walls are painted this lilac color and there are plum colored curtains. So we are going to repaint the walls and also remove this window AC that looks very cheap. Similar to the other bedrooms, we're going to put in a new light fixture, replace the carpet, and put in a new closet door here. The primary bathroom is teeny, but once we enlarge the shower, by leveraging the space from the guest bathroom, the space will be bigger and more appropriately sized. We're going to have to gut the traditional vanity light, the medicine cabinet, and the teeny vanity and replace everything, including the floor tiles. But there's also a hole in the wall right here that was probably for the toilet paper holder and we're going to have to patch that wall. From the slider in the family room, you get to the backyard. There's the metal pergola that's missing a cover. We plan to remove it so we can open up the space. There's a ton of weeds on the side and in the back. It looks really unsightly. So we are going to have a lot of cleaning up to do and then we'll need to put in new landscaping. But I don't really know what we're going to do yet. So if you have any great ideas, drop me a comment below. It's hard to understand the flow of the home without a proper walkthrough. This is actually a popular floor plan that I've seen a few times before. On a previous flip, when I tried to sell the home, an objection of the buyers was the tiny kitchen. That's why I'm determined to expand the kitchen on this project. Luckily, there's a separate family room that can also fit a dining table, which allows us to utilize the existing dining space for the kitchen. If you have other great ideas, make sure you drop a comment below. On the living room and bathroom side, the work is mostly cosmetic. The bedrooms are kind of stinky because the previous owner had a dog. 
Once the carpet is replaced, the smell will likely be gone. For the primary bath, I'm really glad that we could fix the small shower by borrowing space from the guest bath. Just a small change like that would make the primary suite much more appealing. As you watch this video, our team has started with the renovation. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the after video. Now that you've seen this entire fixer upper, let's talk about the numbers. I purchased this home for 900,000 and we plan to put in about 130,000 into the renovation. The after repair value is about 1.3 million and the estimated profit is about 200,000. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Let me show you the interior. The appliances here are um, look like they are sorry. And uh, on this side, the vanity, sorry, I'm going back and forth. This, the, the gas, and it will be at least practical. And a lot of them are five, four, four, five.